y'all. I am making a little tiny video, believe it or not. Um, these are going to be barbecued pork chops done in my Instant Pot. Now, Terry absolutely loves barbecued meat in the Instant Pot. And I haven't made any in a really long time. So, um, I'm going to put a link to the recipe. The site is called Dear Chrissy. And you make up this rub. And, of course, it starts with brown sugar. So, that means it's A-OK -okay with me. So, you just put the rub on your chops when they're at room temperature. And then you... You're supposed to saute them a little bit, you know, and out. Um, let me concentrate here. Yeah, that's almost done. In olive oil, in the saute on your Instant Pot. And I don't like to do that. I don't know why. So anyway, I'm just going to do these. I've got two more to do. And then you put broth in the bottom of your pan and you top it with sweet baby rays and some big chunks of onion now i usually do green peppers but i didn't get out and get one yesterday there is one crucial thing that i've remembered Ta da i put a gasket in the lid of my instant pot oh my gosh y'all now, I will let you know how these turn out and um, do something fun today. And please be safe. Love y'all. Bye now. Okay, y'all. I thought I would just show you a little bit more um, on this teeny weeny video. Now, what I did was, let me get my price thing here. Y'all wouldn't know what to do if I was totally prepared. This is what I got for the meat. Now, Terry and I, um, or I should say, Terry's uh, daughter and I, I know, I know, God, I look so beautiful. But um, his daughter and I, I said that I'd be happy to continue to um, order his groceries and pick them up from Walmart and deliver them and that I would also cook him a few meals a month. And so what I did was I kind of split our groceries up of the ingredients that I was going to cook meals with, and that way I'll give him a half or two-thirds, and I'll keep a third. She said, oh, I don't want you to do all that work. I said, are you kidding me? If I'm cooking for him, I can cook some real food for me. Now, y'all know I don't need to do that. My diet is almost 100% sugar. And isn't that what the uh, FDA says you're supposed to have? I thought so. Anyway, y'all. Um, so, I got the chops all done. Sweetie, Lily uh, smells the pork chops, okay? She just had a big dish of food. So anyway, those are the chops. In case I moved it too fast, I got center cut um, $3.97 a pound. It was 2.23 pounds, so it was $8.85 total. Now these are big chops, y'all. Those are big. Now I'm going to put them down here in this pot. Ooh, I'm, I was so tempted, y'all, to um, cut the tenderloins of these pork chops out and keep them for myself. But, you know, the big old conscience that I have and all of that, I couldn't do it. So I'm kind of trying to stagger these in here a little bit, and I'm going to pour the... Uh, juice over them. You want to scrape your plate so you get all that brown sugar. And then it says, well, what I'm going to do is I sauteed the onion 
in the leftover um, pan drippings, as they call it. Did I deglaze with onions? I don't know. Y'all, this smells amazing. Amazing. Now, I'm not going to throw that olive oil in there. That would be not good. But I have everything else in there now. And it said, and I just, I kind of don't get this, but it said to put your broth and put it over the pork chops. One cup, how many ounces is this? 14. So there's 12 ounces in a cup. So I'm just going to go on and use all of it. Now that's a lot of liquid, y'all, for an instant pot, because y'all know, I had my rag handy here, I knew I was going to make a mess, um, because this actually, I mean, it's a pressure cooker, so um, I find if I clean up my little messes first, can you hear how loud that girl is? Okay, now then, don't you know, oh, baby, you better look out. I almost got her tail. Um, that when I pulled up a recipe to cook, it was so cool, and I knew I had the right recipe because it called for sweet baby rays. I just like this, y'all. Um, it's good. So, is that in the way? Uh, so now I'm just going to put this on top, and I'm not going to put all of it. But I'm going to, I love this, has a squirt thingy on it. Now, what you can do is, when these are done, and the recipe calls for pressure cooking them for seven minutes, and then let them do a natural release for five minutes. These chops are a little bit thick in some places, but then they just kind of narrow out. So I'm not cooking them for that long. And you know they changed the pork temperature guidelines a while back from 165 internal temperature to, I believe, I'll look this up and then I'll correct it. 145. Um, meat always continues to cook and pork cooks really fast because it's thin, unless you're doing a pork roast or something. But, um, so, um, that's it. That's all you have to do. And then you have to, let me see, let me put a little bit more in here. Now what you can do and what I would do if it were not going to be almost 90 degrees out today is I would line a cookie sheet with heavy duty tin foil. I would spread my chops out and I would put my onions all on top and green peppers had I gotten one and uh, cover them with more barbecue sauce and put them under the broiler for just a, a couple of minutes and get that nice crispy glaze going too hot y'all too too hot so anyway that's all there is to this it's really easy um now if i like this glaze if they turn out see i have my red gasket which is good to know because then you know to use this with your spicy foods like this and you use your lighter colored one to do things like potatoes and rice and noodles things like that but anyway um y'all remember when i did uh those ribs that i got from uh john the homeless dude and <laughs> I was trying to get them all in, and I had them standing up, and I couldn't get the lid on, I couldn't get the lid on, couldn't get the lid on, but I finally got it. Now it is really easy, and you want to have your little knob on top, on the ceiling, doohickey. 
Now, I'm not going to cook these chops for seven minutes. I'm going to cook them for five. And if they need more after I test them, because they are doing a five minute natural release. So that means they're still going to cook a little bit. And the worst thing you can do for pork chops, and I know this because I have tested it over and over throughout all my years of being married and cooking hundreds and hundreds of meals. And that is how easy it is to overcook pork. And when you do, you might as well resole some of your shoes because it is awful. Um, now, the way I used to cook my barbecued pork chops is I would put them in a roaster. I would fry them a little bit, uh, yeah, in bacon grease, and then I would put them in the roaster covered with the barbecue sauce and the onions and the peppers, and I would cook them for three hours at 300 degrees, 250 degrees, and slow cook them until the meat was just, I mean, it was, you couldn't, lift them out of the pot. The meat was just falling off the bone. Um, but since I don't uh, cook that way anymore, we're going to use our pressure cooker. And so I'll let you know. Y'all saw how easy it was for me to put that lid on, didn't you? I'm an expert. So I expect they're going to be really good. So I'll go over the recipe with y'all in just a little bit. Talk to you later. Bye now.